Hi Philippine travelers! We're on our way to Rojas Avenue where there is a night market going on and um, I'm actually very excited to experience this with my husband. It's just him and me tonight. So this is gonna be exciting. <laughs> with just a few stalls and now the entire Rojas Avenue is packed with stalls selling all kinds of stuff from food to shoes, even underwear. One of the most popular features of the Rojas Night Market is Magdani's ice cream which has gained super popularity in the past few months. They say it's very good, just like Italian gelato, though I haven't really had the time to taste it because there is always a very, very, very long line to just have a taste, just probably a scoop of Mangdani's ice cream. And the line starts to, uh, you know, accumulate around 6 p.m. and Mangdani, the, the vendor of the ice cream, arrives at around 9. So you can just imagine the patience of um, the customers waiting in line. Now, um, aside from Mangdani's ice cream, of course, there's a lot of street food for sale here. And if you're a lover and if you don't have stomach sensitivities, this would be a haven for you, just like myself and my husband. We really enjoy street food, all kinds of street food, grilled, barbecued, deep fried, steamed, whatever. Whatever it is, we like it. There's barbecue, there, there's even potato curls deep fried chicken innards. I know it's a bit gross to think of, to think about, but once you try it, it's really good, especially the isao, which is barbecued or deep fried chicken intestine. If you're up for that, then Ross is the place. There's also the famous balut and a lot of dim sum. If you're up for a heavy meal, there's grilled fish. Grilled chicken, squid, squid, and other seafood. You can find all sorts of stuff here, especially the ukay ukay part of the night market. Ukay ukay is actually just surplus stuff from different parts of the world. There's shoes, all kinds of shoes, men, rubber shoes, sandals, high heels, boots, children's shoes, aqua shoes, whatever you want. I'm sure you'll find something here, which is actually good thing if you're looking for cheap stuff that you're just gonna use once or twice and you know for costumes or something like that there's also clothes skirts blouses shirts jackets whatever clothing item even women's underwear I saw a couple of displays well that's really unsanitary but to each his own there are still people buying those stuff I'm surprised it's also children's wear and we actually let me show you some of the stuff I bought for Adrian. So let's do a quick haul of what I got from one of the stalls here. I actually want to buy stuff for Adrian, so she's into these kinds of clothes. Uh, these are just you know clothes for when she's home. So this is a pretty good dress, and here's another one. This one, this is pretty cute. My husband actually found this. And this I bought for my little nephew, Nathan. There are actually uh, small massage stations here. So now you might ask, is it safe to come here? Yes, it is very safe. There are actually a lot of officers, you know, roaming around and in, in outposts here. There is a patrol car in the mid, right in the middle of the night market to, you know, keep people safe. So yes, it is very safe. Although, I have tips. Now, number one tip, come here between 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Don't come too early because the stalls start um, opening their stuff and selling their stuff by sundown. And the street is not 
too busy by then. Tip number two, wear comfortable shoes. Um, I, I suggest you actually, I'm actually wearing flip-flops now because the last time I visited this area, I was wearing, what, sneakers? Well, it's comfortable, but if you want to try, you know, the shoes on sale, might as well have, you know, something that you can just slip on and off your foot. So, and Rojas Avenue is actually a very long road and everything is pretty much occupied with stalls. So if you want to see everything, then might as well wear comfy shoes. And please, no jewelry. I haven't heard about, you know, muggers or snatchers here, but just to be safe, don't wear any expensive jewelry because you might lose it while you're trying on blouses and stuff. Secure your belongings in a bag. Um, I'm wearing a sling bag or body bag just to make sure that all my stuff are all accounted for. Do not eat the street food if you have stomach sensitivities. But this place is highly recommended. I would give it um, not a 5 but just a 4 because like I said, there are some people who might not like the place but for me, who loves street food and ukay ukay, this is the place. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, click on the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Now go to www.philippinetraveler.com for more stories about Davao City and neighboring areas. I'll see you guys next time.